Hello again, 2B Reversals Part 2. So, um, Carlos, you asked about entries. Well, you know, you could use the um, the um, RSI Histo Alert with uh, a lot of confidence, I think, entering these 2B Reversals. Um, obviously, you can use the 3 Candle Reversal as well. Uh, we've talked about how to get involved with the... Um, with the actual um, 2B reversals within a 2B reversal. There is, uh, you know, the trend um, wedge trend line break situation that you could combine with all of it as well. Um, you know, I think there's numerous ways, but obviously I'm going to uh, recommend this on the lower time frames, keep dropping down. And um, and a three candle reversal as well, but um, another interesting thing about two B reversals, in my opinion. Oh, I should say at first off as well. Some may say that two B reversals are brilliant in hindsight, but not so easy to find uh, in uh, reality, real time. The thing is. Much the same as my one, to, uh, my three candle reversal. You're quite often protected from getting in false ones, getting in too early, whatever you want to call it, because of the uh, fact that um, they are fairly rare when you add into the uh, equation the closes and so on and so forth, and the um, and, and definitely when you add into the equation waiting for the pullbacks. Because if you don't get a pullback and you get faked into a long move, uh, or sorry, into into the continuation of the move, and then pulled back on, you will be a pretty unhappy bunny. So that's why I recommend watching, you know, looking at your two B, putting your line on there, much same as we do on the three candle reversals, at uh, your vertical line, I mean, and then waiting for the pullback, and then on, on the lower time frame watching for it to confirm whether you're watching two B's or three candle reversals but the three candle reversals obviously in my opinion now supersede two B's because you know I've watched them for years and years and years and years and compared the two and I definitely think the three candle reversal is better obviously but you know if you're looking at this for a potential um, let's say we're looking at this this is a swing one of a 2B, swing two, swing three. Now, Vic says you've got to close or break. I say you've got to close above that bar there, the trigger bar. Uh, sorry, poke bar, trigger bar, I can never remember. Trigger bar, poke bar, yeah. Uh, so, at no point did you uh, reach that. And then you could count another swing here. Let's just say that spike isn't there swing one, swing two, swing three, and you're waiting for a reversal above a, um, you've put your low on here, you've watched your poke through, poke and trigger I suppose you could call it, then you need a close above that bar there, and once it makes a new low, you start to do the whole process again. Swing one, swing two, swing three. Draw the low on there, that's the point that you have to close above and you haven't closed above so you start the whole process again and much the same as three bar reversals three candle reversals so you could call this swing one swing two swing three and you've got then to close above this one because your low would have been on the low of that red candle there that's swing one swing two swing three see how this, um, to all intents and purposes, just looks like two candles, but it's actually a 2B reversal. And, you know, that's how much I've studied these things. I can see them in my sleep. There's swing one, there's swing two, there's swing three. And uh, we would have had to have closed above this bar here, which we did then wait for the reversal, then wait for the continuation. 
in fact I've picked the wrong part of that haven't I because that was the low there swing one swing two swing three this bar here would have needed closing above I hope you're following me this is the new 2B forming in lifetime as it were that now is a potential 2B to the you know to the long side and you're protected from entering it because you haven't closed above there and once this low is broken the, the swing 3 then you do the whole process again swing 1 swing 2 swing 3 draw your line and if you look at the line chart, you can see the swings I'm talking about. Swing one, forget that little thing there. Swing one, swing two, swing three. Didn't pull back or close, so there's no way you could get faked into that trade. And uh, once you've broken swing three, swing one, swing two, or swing one rather, swing two, swing three. Let's have a look at that one because that looks like it might have been faked into the long side. Swing one swing two, swing three, so that's the low of swing one, swing two, swing three, any candle that breaks that and subsequent candles that break that become the, um, the uh, bar that you need to close above for the entry, that's the, oops, that's the um, break and close bar there um, and you wouldn't have considered entering the trade until you'd um, uh, broken and closed and then we wanted to see a pullback well this is not a sensible pullback so it's debatable whether you would have got faked into that trade or not but that's why I then moved away from 2Bs and started to draw my levels on the three candle reversals so that I could see I wasn't going to be trading into a uh, resistance or support level right in our face. So that is the progression. I hope that makes sense. So you just keep drawing it. Here's swing one, swing two, swing three. And you just keep dropping down much the same as I do with my uh, one, two, three reversals. Uh, so here is the reversal level. But remember, Vic says keep moving down as the price moves down with your reversal level, uh, with your poke bar as it were, subsequent lower bars. And, and then you would have actually had a new 2B formed because you've got a new low and so on and so forth. So it, um, when you've got this new low well here, you watch for the poke bar, swing one swing two, swing three. It's getting a bit tricky to use these as, as explanations now because you can see the momentum is running out. This is a daily chart. But even if you'd considered entering the close of that red candles high there, which is that one there, the pullback would have stopped you getting in long. And you would have used the lower time frames, the H4, that would have, in my, you know, in my three candle reversal, which is precisely why they are better than 2B reversals, you watch the reversal, you cannot trade, if this closed down on the H4, I hope you're following me, then you have to have an H4 up, which you've never got, it just carried on down, and you just continue the process. So, hopefully I've covered everything you needed to uh, know, Carlos. If there's anything else that's a bit grey, or, um, or not clear, should I say, then uh, please ask, you know. Um, to be reversals I've forgotten more than most people have ever learnt about them to be honest with you so I apologize if I've not uh, covered everything but uh, as I say ask more questions and I'll make part three and four if necessary so uh, yeah to be reversals they are everywhere absolutely everywhere so are three candle reversals but in my opinion a three candle reversal is more um, uh, more precise and potentially more reliable and with reliability comes uh, confidence belief and confidence okay 
And don't forget, this thing is the king of all indicators as far as I'm concerned. At the moment, always keep an open mind, might be something better out there. If you think you've got something that works better than this, then by all means give me a shout. But I love oscillators because I love the um, traffic light sort of system and especially this because you've got the precise levels measurements on there. You know once uh, 171064 is broken by 17663 then uh, you are looking at potential to move up in this case or down in this case when this level was broken 1172 minus of course by 1289 and price comes down there's a 2b reversal there as well there's the low they are everywhere notice this one you didn't get faked into because we never closed above there price moved down and uh, ultimately you get the proper reversal here close above that candle there pull back continuation okay guys Thanks ever so much. Don't forget, any questions, shout.